Imagine if real life was Minecraft. How realistic would it be? Well, today I have the answer for you as I test a real life simulator that recreates the entire Earth. Watch until the end because you won't believe how real it's gonna get. I've loaded up the real life simulator. The game mode is creative. Hold up, that isn't very realistic. Maybe we should make it hardcore. Because in real life, you don't, you don't respawn. Actually, no, 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 no way. We're jumping in in creative. I want to be able to explore this world without the fear of death, starvation, or something that's going to eat me alive. <laughs> now we're going to jump to more world options, and we need to change the world type to a new one here. Literal Earth. Yo, that is already so cool. What does this customize button do? Okay, I think we need to go modern intercontinental. That's what I've read. And yo, dude, is that the world generation? No way, that already looks so dope. Okay, we've got all of these settings aside. I have no idea what they do, like ecological. I have, I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> Wait, is that set spawn point? Yo, what does this do? Holy flip, what? This is like all in a different language that I cannot understand. This is crazy, guys. No freaking way. Okay, so right now we're jumping straight into Africa. Okay, where are we dropping, boys, guys? We could go to Australia, my hometown. Uh, but uh, you know what? I kind of don't want to start off with the stress of, you know, dying to the desert. We've also got Brazil. We could go to America. Oh, my goodness. I wonder what Antarctica looks like. I've always wanted to head down here. But you know what? I think the first pick was pretty good. I want to go somewhere in Africa, check out the tropics, the savannah, all that dope stuff, guys. So I reckon we want to get near a body of water. So maybe somewhere around here. Ooh, what about right here, guys? We've, we're in the tropics. We're next to the savannah, near some water. I think that is the place we're starting off here, guys. So let's go ahead. Yo, look at how the generation changes. There's even some, like, mountains around here. I am so hyped right now. Let's go ahead and create the world. And here we go. Oh, my God. Gosh, yo, this is beautiful. My eyes. <laughs> I am actually speechless right now. I don't even know how to describe what I'm seeing. Bro, why would you want to go out into real life when you can be in real life in Minecraft right now? This is so beautiful. Dude, and look, we've literally spawned on the divide between the savannah plains of Africa and a tropical rainforest. What better spawn location could we ask for? I don't even know where to start with with what I'm talking about here, guys. Everything is just amazing. Like, look at the sun, the clouds, the sky. Dude, wait, there aren't even blocks. Are you guys seeing this? What? Where are these cubes? I mean, there are cubes for the leaves, but this mountain is like totally flat. Bro, we gotta investigate that. What is that? This is cursed Minecraft right now. What? What is this? What? This is crazy. How do you, can you just walk up this? Oh my God, you can. This is crazy, guys. It's actually like flat, like in real life. I'm, I am, Really confuzzled, actually. I don't understand how this, this, my brain, no comprehendo, is not computing. Yo, look at those caves down there. That is so clean. I actually kind of like the no blocks look. It's, it's actually really, really aesthetically pleasing here, guys. Look at that. That is amazing. Wait, can we find some water here, guys? Oh, look at this oasis. Oh, that's beautiful. Yo, look at how the water literally blends into the land right there. Bro, this is insane. What? No way. I love that. And look over there. Look at those realistic tree branches, guys. Bro. Oh, my flip. Wait, let's confirm. Can you knock down a tree with your hand? This is the ultimate test of realism. Yeah, the answer is no. That is not happening today. But if we knock it down a creative... Ah, oh, timber! <laughs> Yo, the tree falls down and everything. That's... Wait. Oh. Giraffes. Bro. Look at these! Yo, hello my long necked friends. Look at these guys. That is so cool. So the actual mobs spawn inside of their biomes here, guys. We've got some awesome looking giraffes. Yo, check this out. We've got these peacocks. Bro, dude, look at these guys. That is so cool. We got, oh wow, the chickens have had a serious update. The chickens got a realistic update. I want to see what other mobs we might be able to find inside of this savannah biome here. Oh, look on top of the roofs, guys. We got ourselves these vultures. I think they are. I'm not an expert in African animals, guys. So if I get this wrong, please don't judge in the comments. But yo, man, this is so dope. Wait, what is that? Dude, what are these things? Huh? I have no idea what these are. Let's check here. Spotted hyenas. Yo, these are the bad guys in the Lion King. 
Dude, these look so dope. All right, but also I know you guys, uh, you're out to kill Mufasa, so stay away, all right? But now that we've checked out the savannah of Africa, I want to see what is in the tropical rainforest side of things. So this bitch here doesn't seem quite tropical rainforest yet. It's like, you know, just a little bit of grasslands and whatnot. Here we are. We are on the edge of a beautiful tropical rainforest. Man, this is so much cooler than the boring old Minecraft jungle biomes. Yo, look at this. Just walking in here is such an amazing experience right now guys but it's still really off-putting not having any blocks in minecraft like what all right let's see are there any unique mobs here to the tropical rainforest we definitely saw a bunch in the savannah i'm not seeing too many around here but i would love to check them out dude look at that cave what bro that is so scary what ha <laughs> ha no way. I would... Okay. At the same time I say I would never want to go down here, I also really, really want to go down here and investigate. Look at this cave. Holy flip. Mining in one of these things would be so terrifying. Like, getting lost in here. I'm out, fam. I'm out. <laughs> okay. Ooh. We've got a new mob up here. What is this? I, I actually don't know what this is. A leobird? Oh, that's so cute, dude. And... Yo, gorillas. <laughs> oh, we got another one of those terrifying caves. What are these? So these are the Western gorillas, guys. Oh my goodness, they have like a little gorilla family. They got babies and everything. Bro, that's ador That's actually adorable here. So we found some mobs. Let's see, are there any other ones nearby? What are those? Those don't look like gorillas. Yo, are these like monkeys or chimpanzees? Maybe let's check here. Common chimpanzees. Look at these guys. Look at his little ears and his mouth and his nose. Oh, I'm a fan of that, guys. Look at these guys go... What a, those look so cool. Are these wolves? Bro, wolves have the ultimate update. Holy flip, that is so cool. Imagine having one of these dogs by your side. I think we're done in Africa here. I want to check out somewhere else. Imagine for a second that wherever you lived in the real world was where you always spawned in Minecraft. That would be crazy, and I'm so glad that isn't the case. But yet, at the same time, I really want to know what my homeland Australia looks like inside of Minecraft. We're going to go right to the blank splat middle of nowhere here in Alice Springs, guys. Yes, it is true that everything out there wants to kill you. Spiders, scorpions, killer mosquitoes, even the koalas are out to get us, guys. But we're going to check it out anyways. Oi, mate. Good day. Welcome to Australia. We're out here in the middle. Oh, whoop, whoop, what a load of garbo it is out picking my mate the Kanga and the Sheila. Swing around the server, the Zabo, get a cheeky ass gal with the lads. Not here to stuff around with spiders. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was the worst Australian accent impression I have ever done. I am so sorry, I promise that will never happen again. Maybe, that was actually kind of a lot of fun. Well, welcome to my homeland, Australia. You guys probably already think I have an Australian accent, but I can't hear it because I'm just so used to it at this point, guys. But look at this complete and utter desert. Yep, this definitely seems like the middle of Australia. No cap about that, guys. Look at this little koala. <laughs> he do be vibing, though. <laughs> we got this huge family of kangaroos, guys. They just call them a kanga. And then we got, ooh, we even got some cat a lot of people don't know that Australia actually has camels, but yes, we do in fact have those. What are these? I, I actually don't know what... Oh, these are kookaburras! <laughs> I love that! And I've just noticed, guys, look at those footsteps. Bro, that thing is... That will kill me. If I was in survival, this man would show no mercy. Have a look at this croc out here, guys. Crikey, mate! Yo! That is absolutely insane. The, ooh, what, what is this? Bro! <laughs> Minecraft sand villages were not made to be realistic right now. Yet, this is kind of what happens when you build your house out of sand. It crumbles. Look at this. These villages are like, um, hmm, something went wrong with the design. They are very confused. Yo, what is that? Oh, my God. The desert temple is absolutely destroyed here out in the savannah. Yo. Yeah, once again, not made for real life, guys. Look at all of... This is so crazy right now, guys. I absolutely love this. I still get the feeling someone would kill me. What do we got? We got some uh, emus over here looking very nice. Hello, how you going, mate? Are you kidding me? Not even in Minecraft am I safe from spiders anymore. Look what I found. An entire nest colony thing of these little spiders with their humongous little fangs. Imagine one of these things biting you. That, that is my everyday fear living here in Australia, guys. Uh, no, no, no. I'm out of this. I'm out. Most of Australia is just desert. Nah, mate, I'm done with Australia burning my butt off. It's time to go down south to somewhere a whole ton cooler, Antarctica. And luckily, unlike real life, I'm not going to die to hypothermia. Look at this. Already the world generation looks terrifying, but I want to see some penguins. So let's go. <laughs> oh, it's so freezing here. 
is what I would say if I didn't actually live in Australia and it was boiling hot outside. But look at how cool this is, guys. It's just snow and snow as far as the eye can see, along with a ton of wildlife. I had no idea Antarctica had so much living stuff here, guys. We got ourselves some pelicans, some penguins. Waddle, 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 waddle. <laughs> Waddle with the penguins. You're a penguin family out here. You can literally see my breath coming out of my mouth as I'm freezing to death, or at least my Minecraft character is freezing to death here, guys. Yo, even the oceans are filled with so many animals. We got ourselves some starfish. Wait, are those what I think they are? Oh, no. Whoa. Hold up. Look at how cool it is when we get underwater. Yo, dude, that is so cool. Talk about realism. But what I was saying before is I'm pretty sure I saw an octopus there. But that isn't just any type of octopus. No, I'm pretty certain. Yo. Oh, I know exactly what that is, guys. That is a blue rigged octopus. We have these in Australia as well. And literally one touch from these guys and you die. These things are super, super poisonous. So I'm not going anywhere near those. We also got some lobsters chilling down here. And I think I saw a seal. Look at that. There's a little seal waddling through, guys. And I definitely heard some more seals as well. All right, there we go. We got some seals chilling out here on the bay. And bro, look at how nice this ice looks. Yo, that is so realistic. Holy flip. Look at that. The way the ice, like, reflects everything going around, that is amazing. Yo, this is just so cool. Seeing the endless water, guys, the water is actually so nice. And it's so realistic, too. Like, if you took a screenshot of that, I genuinely think this is real life. How far does this snow actually go? I kind of want to know. Imagine living out here, guys. Infinite snow cones, but, uh, yeah, it'd be very, very difficult right now. I'm actually in awe. Mr. Penguins... Oh, what? Do we have snow bunnies out here? Yo! Hey, snow bunnies, <laughs> I can vibe with the snow bunnies. I still can't believe we're in one of the extremest places in the earth. But I think I can probably think of one place that is even more insane than this. It's somewhere equally as cold, but way more terrifying and extreme. The highest place on earth, Mount Everest. Now, I'm pretty sure it's in Tibet, which is above India here. It's next to Bhutan. You can see we've got all of these icy mountains coming around here on the map. I don't know exactly which one is Mount Everest, but honestly, I just want to see a really tall mountain. Everything in the Himalayas here is a freezing. So let's go ahead and just pick what mountain. I reckon we'll go right there. That's where we're going on the mountain, guys. I just want to see how tall this is. Yo, look at this rendering right now. Bro, what is that? We need to see this. Oh my jeez. Holy flip, how high are we, guys? This is insane. We don't even know if this is actual Mount Everest. This is just one of the cliffs here, guys. And you can see just how ginormously huge these are. Bro, you literally cannot see the ground. I've got my render distance on the highest setting. My computer is lagging so hard right now. I hear my fans going, how far can we go down? Honestly, we could be we could be doing this for days. If I just let go of my space bar, it just keeps going. It literally just keeps going and going and going. I guess this is the end of the video, guys, because we're gonna keep falling forever and ever and ever. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, anyway, it's too bad. Bye!